So now that we've established why your time is so valuable, let's talk a bit about the reasons why most of us struggle so hard not to waste our time. To put it simply, the reason you struggle to see the value of your own time is because quite frankly, everything around you is specifically designed to encourage you to waste it. Every movie, every game, every app, every commercial, every screen, in every restaurant, and every song you've ever heard pretty much incentivizes you to throw away your time. Like, let's be real, when's the last time you went to the club and heard a song where the lyrics sounded something like Let's all be responsive, bo 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 always study, go to sleep on time, only drink water, keep in my prime, don't ever party, always saving money. Yeah, I'm willing to bet that despite those lyrics being what most of us really need to hear, a song like that will never ever make it to the top of Pandora or iTunes. Because the truth is, most people want to waste their time. Most people want to procrastinate. Most people want to just say, F the future, I'm gonna eat this donut and enjoy the next 60 seconds. And all most companies really do is give people exactly what they want. Oh, you don't want to write your essay that's due tomorrow? Perfect! I have a Netflix series specifically algorithmically picked just for you to help avoid writing that essay. Oh, you don't like working out? Perfect! I'll make that pizza as easy and affordable for you as possible. Oh, you don't like working? Perfect! Here's a game that requires you to grind at least five hours a day every every day just to have a chance at dropping the loot you probably want. So, you see what I mean. The world understands that you yourself are trying to find excuses and reasons not to use your time constructively investing in your future. And that is how they catch you. That is how your time disappears. When you're looking for an excuse to not do what you should be doing, Trust me, you will find it. I think the first time that I truly realized how oblivious people were to wasting their own time was in college with the buddy I had while I was working in fast food. I made $10 an hour, it wasn't much, but it paid the bills and I had good friends. And one of these friends was obsessed with this phone game called Puzzles and Dragons. It's like an anime RPG, you don't really need to know the specifics, but basically, you collect monsters, the more rare the monster, the more powerful it is, the stronger your team gets. Now in this game, there is a casino machine that gives you rare monsters but to have extra access to it basically you need to grind your time away beating dungeons to collect points once you have five points you can roll the machine once and get a random new monster it takes between five and thirty minutes to get one point depending on the difficulty of the dungeon you're on so collecting points takes a lot of time and my friend played a lot more than I did but I remember one day my friend came to work and he was so proud of the fact that he spent the last 10 hours spending no money in order to grind out 20 25 points to use on this machine. He was so proud and happy with his achievement, but upon hearing this, I was utterly confused. Because at the time, you could just pay $20 to get 40 stones, and we make $10 an hour. When I brought this up, he didn't really seem to get what I was trying to say, so just to prove my point, I went to my boss and it was like, hey, does anyone need their shift covered this week? And he was like, oh yes, Sally's looking for cover. So I cover for Sally, and I work a standard 8 hour shift, and in that shift I made $80. I spent $20 to get 40 points in the game, and I ended up with even better random monsters than my friend. On top of that, I had an extra $60 more than I had before in real life. And of course, my friend was mad and he called me a pay to win tier whore, but the point stood. If you're gonna dedicate to dumping 10 hours down the drain to get something, at least do it in a way where you come out on top. Because as silly as this story is, the truth is now we live in a world where a young college student doesn't even realize that he sunk 10 hours of his life into a game for no reason at all. As long as the waste of time is disguised in a game or in fun, he is truly convinced his time was less valuable than his money. And the scary part is just how many people I've met in real life that share this mentality. Like when it comes to spending $20 for an add-on in Blender or a brush for ZBrush, people get really edgy and spicy with their cash. But these same people have absolutely no problem sinking hundreds of their hours into a game or a TV show when they themselves are making close to $20 an hour. So long story short, I think the biggest mistake people make is believing that your time is less valuable than your 
more money. When in most cases, especially if you're making at least minimum wage, the opposite is almost always true. And I just want to be clear here, I'm not saying don't have fun or don't play games or don't enjoy life, that's not what I'm saying at all. I'm just saying that if you're going to sink the next 10 hours of your life, there are better and worse ways to do it. So just be mindful of what you're doing. Hope that helps. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.